Welcome to Monday morning. It's time to start the week anew, to pick up the mantle of your business and endeavors, and press forward to achieve new things, meet new people, and dream new dreams. Whether or not you're in a phase of work that you love, or a phase that is more difficult, I want you to start the week feeling like you've got this. So let's take a moment to prepare before you get into the day-to-day minutia. Gather your calendar, task list, pen, and paper. But before you delve into any of these, I want you to consider how you want this week to go. So sit back and relax. Take a deep breath in, fully filling your belly. And as you exhale, close your eyes. Keep breathing deep during this visualization. Forget what you have to do. Think about how you want to do it. Who do you want to be this week? How do you want to approach each challenge and each success? Every moment is up to us to react to. And though we may not enjoy everything that comes our way, we can enjoy how we act and who we choose to be. Who are you, ideally, as an entrepreneur? Feel into that space. Whether or not you have yet achieved the things that you wish to, you can start acting like the entrepreneur who has. As you do so, the shape of your work will change and the reactions of people to you will also change. Take another deep breath into the feeling of who you want to be. As you exhale, open your eyes. Keep that feeling with you throughout the week. With your pen and paper, or in your bullet journal, write down anything that you received during that visualization now. Feel free to pause me while you do so. Good job. Let's start the week. Open up your calendar, bullet journal, to-do list, or anything else you use in order to track and manage your work. First, let's take a look at the events you have on your calendar for this week. What is scheduled? What needs your attention? needs to be managed by you, needs to be cared for. What do you need to prepare for in advance in order to be your best at these events? If any preparations or needs become apparent to you, write them down or put them on your to-do list. Give yourself an appropriate deadline. 
This sets your future self up for success and will help you feel like the entrepreneur you want to be. Feel free to pause me while you work on this. Now let's take a look at the rest of your to-dos and tasks. What do you have coming up this week? How are these things going to shape your week? How much time does each need? In what order do you want them to be addressed? What resources do you need? And on what day must they happen? Or when must they be completed? Highlight and rearrange as needed. Is there anything on your calendar or on your task list that feels too big? That feels like it can't be completed or can't be prepared for just this week? I have found as an entrepreneur that dreams versus expectations don't always mesh. Sometimes I think I will get something done in a week, but my energy and time doesn't match up. Is there anything that you see on your calendar or task list which looks like that? Is there anything on your calendar or task list that needs to be split, pared down, or moved forward to a different week? Do that now and feel free to pause me. Great. Now that we've gone through your calendar and task list, let's put them aside and do a set of affirmations to bring you into the week with clarity and confidence. Relax back into your chair again and close your eyes. Take a deep belly breath and repeat after me. I am strong. I am confident. I started this business because I feel passionate about the work. I know what I am doing. I know what I want to come next. I know who I want to be. I am a great leader. I am a good communicator. I have patience with myself. I believe in myself. I will take each day as it comes. I am excited to get to work. Good job. Welcome to Monday morning. You're going to do great. I'll see you back here at the end of the week for our Friday wind down. Go get them, tiger.